You see crepe myrtles planted everywhere across the southeastern United States. Look around your own community and you'll see these beautiful small blooming trees almost wherever you look. A plant that was fussy or unreliable would never be planted so widely. So you can tell when you see how many crepe myrtles are out there that this must be one of those reliable, wonderful plants we can plant. And indeed it is. But like most plants, there are some issues that you need to be aware of. And one of the most common disease problems that we see on crepe myrtles is the cosper leaf spot. Now, what you're going to see initially with this disease is black spots on the foliage. The foliage looks like this for a while, and then it changes color. It'll turn yellow, orange, or red, and then the tree sheds the foliage, almost like it was autumn. But this is being caused by this disease. Now, by the time you see the spots and you see the leaves changing color, the disease has happened. It's way too late for any spraying to do any good whatsoever. To control this disease, you'd have to spray about every seven to 10 days with the fungicide starting in early summer and continue all the way until fall. It's just not worth it. This disease is not life threatening to these trees. So again, even if you see a large amount of foliage change color and come falling off, the life of your tree is in no danger. So when you look over your crepe myrtle trees here in the mid to late summer period, and you see a lot of leaves changing color, and the weather has been rainy, so cosper leaf spot is a lot worse during rainy periods. You know what's going on, but you also know it's too late to spray, there's no use to do anything, and that the disease overall is not that debilitating to your tree. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.